This is item number 42 from the released uh, spring 2014 test items for the Algebra 1 Tennessee ESE test. So, which equation is best represented by the line shown on the graph? Now, there are a bunch of ways to do this. What I'm going to do is actually develop what the graph looks like from a slope-intercept perspective, and then I'll just go ahead and convert it into standard form, because you'll notice a, B, C, and D are all in standard form. They have X and Y on the same side. So it's probably easier to do that than to convert all these into slope-intercept form and then graph them and see which one matches, although that's an option too. So for me, if I'm going to set up this kind of feel to it, there's my intercept, which is at 3. So I'm just going to write plus 3 right there. And then it's going down, so I know it's negative. The X is just stays there, really. Uh, so I need to figure out another point. So here's a point that crosses right on the edges. It goes down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3. So it looks like it's going down negative 1. And that's my slope. So what do I do with this? Well, now that I have it in slope-intercept form, I can just convert it into standard. I just need to move the x over here. To get rid of minus 1x, I need to add 1x. x plus y equals 3. So I'm guessing it's this one. Not a big deal. It's not a super difficult overall setup. And if you wanted to use intercepts method, if you know what that is, it's basically where you can find out where it crosses the axis. Just set um, whichever variable you don't want to know about uh, equal to 0. So basically you're sort of covering it up, eliminating it. Because on the x-axis here, this point, well, the y value has to be 0, or it's going to be negative or positive 1 to have that point. So what I'm going to do instead is just say, OK, x plus 0, because the y value of this point would be 0, equals 3. So this kind of goes away, so the x value is equal to 3. And it's the same thing for the y. 0 plus y equals 3, so that goes away, and I'm left with y is equal to 3. These are my intercepts, and that's where they sorry, that's where they intercept the x and y axis for this graph, so I know that's the right answer. You know, no big deal. Uh, the overly complicated method is convert all of these into slope-intercept slope form, even though in this case, since it's a, it wouldn't be that hard. Minus x. Can't combine these two, and you get that. And then you could just go over and graph it, if I can get it to graph. That would be probably a good thing. If I get to turn on, that would be a good thing. Um, y equals negative x plus 3. You graph it. There's the graph. It looks almost exactly like it. You can change the slope, or the, sorry, the window here to make it 7 and negative 7 if you want to, to make it look exactly like it. But that's it. Not a big deal. Um, my suggestion is you either use intercepts method, just find them because they're easy to do, or you can use um, writing it out in slope-intercept and then converting it. But, you know, choose your own adventure.